Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, if you're on Windows 11 23H2, you do have, of course, the preview update for bug fixes today. All you have to do is go into your settings and uh, check for updates, uh, and it will show up. If you don't, these will only install when we get to Patch Tuesday of December. Of course, the uh, recommendation pretty much now is if you don't have any problems, wait until it installs with Patch Tuesday because if there are any bugs, they will be fixed before Patch Tuesday. So uh, this comes in the form of a package which is the KB5046732. It brings your Windows 11 23H2 version to 22.631.4541. Um, it fixes quite a few things. Uh, first of all, it does give uh, new out-of-box experience when you first install Windows 11. So that's one of the first things that it does if you ever reinstall Windows. Uh, there's now a shortened date and time capability. So, for example, if you look at the uh, date here, you see that it has a shortened date and time. If you go into the uh, adjust date and time, you'll see a slider that is uh, uh, the um, w when you adjust for the uh, the clock it will ask you if you want to have so right here if we take a little arrow on the right side show abbreviated time and date and show seconds which was already there so the difference is that instead of showing uh the, it shows a date in different different way either complete with the uh, year or just the day with you know, like 21st November as November is spelled out. So a few things like that that it introduces. Fixes, uh, automatically hide the taskbar that the problem was when you use the search box. Uh, it showed, it's like it was showing an icon right in a search box. Uh, the input method uh, in this update, there's a few new things for Chinese and Japanese. Um, if you right-click on a app that's been on the start menu, jump lists will appear for apps that have jump lists. Uh, jump lists are simple um, ways of actually getting your apps doing different things that you do regularly by having a list of functionalities that, that you usually do. Um, new touchscreen information, touchscreen uh, features. Uh, you can uh, now, um, in the mouse, they, they add a button to turn off enhanced mouse pointer precision in the mouse section. Dynamic lighting settings page is now updated also. Um, gradual rollout of other features coming up soon. Fixes a few things, including the uh, internet printer problems also was available. That problem was also on Windows 10 and a few other things. So if you have problems, you can try and install this. If you don't, ignore it, and it will be installed automatically with Patch Tuesday, which is, I would guess, the best way to do it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.